Hey everyone, I'm Clue, and I've created a new spell system for Minecraft using command blocks. So in order to craft the spells, we need to go ahead and set up a nexus. So we need our end crystals, obsidian, enchanting tables, and these four specific items. A Heart of the Sea, Totem of Undying, Nether Star, and an Elytra. So if we go ahead, place an obsidian, and then four enchanting tables around it, with our end crystal on top, we've now built our nexus. But in order to actually unlock spell types, we need to offer up one of these items. So for instance, if we give it the Heart of the Sea, it will get consumed, and we will now unlock our water or ocean spells. Give it the Totem of Undying, we now get the Overworld spells. Nether Star, you guessed it, Nether. Lytra, end. So now we have all four types of spells unlocked, and we can go ahead and craft a whole range of different spells. In fact, there are 25 different spells to choose from. But it gets crazier, because there are also five different casting types, and you can even have multiple spells on a single turn, meaning that the combinations are very, almost endless. Obviously they're not endless, but there are a lot of combinations. So how do we go ahead and craft a spell tome? Well, you need your books, you need some feathers, and you need some glow ink sacks. Since it is magical, it's not just a normal written book, we go ahead and we drop all three items onto our nexus, we get ourselves a basic spell tome. Now this only has two slots, so there is a way to unlock the third, but that's the secret for now. So then, how do we craft our actual spell? Well, what we need is we need an enchanting book, so either mending, silk touch, channeling, multi shot, or infinity. And the way this works is they then put on an incantation. So, for instance, infinity gives it the direct incantation. Burst, multi shot, domain, channeling, self, silk touch, and fixed mending. So, this is your casting type. This affects the direction and the type of projectile you're producing. So, for instance, if we take out our Infinity Book for our direct incantation, we can go ahead and drop our Spell Tome and our Enchant onto the Nexus. It gets consumed, and we now have a basic Spell Tome with Incantation Direct. The next step, well, we need to actually add a spell to it. So you can see here, we've got all these different charms. These are all the different spells you can pick from. And all you have to do to add it to your book is grab out a name tag, find the one you want. So for instance, we'll, we'll start nice and simple. We will just stick with fire. So if we go ahead to an anvil, name the name tag fire. Now we can go ahead and drop this charm onto our basic spell tome in our nexus. Gets absorbed. And we now have a spell book that has both an incantation and a charm. So we're almost ready to cast. Now, the last ingredient you need is lapis. So every cast costs lapis. This is your resource system for the spells. So now that we have our lapis and spellbook, we can go ahead and equip it into our offhand. And if we shift, you can see is casting goes up. So this is a scoreboard detection system that tells when the player is shifting with the book or casting. So if we go to F5, you can see there's some particles forming. So whenever we do shift, a few things occur. First off, we get a basic element. So, because we're doing fire, we've got the flames. And then we also get these enchantment symbols. So this indicates that the player is casting. There are three different rings, the bottom, middle, and the top. And then lastly, you cast. So, give a better perspective of the fireball we're shooting. Perfect. Of course, if we go out and grab out, say, a husk, and go ahead and shoot at it. Pretty neat, huh? And of course, there's still four other types of casting to go over, as well as 24 more spells. Hope you enjoyed!